Hi, this is Dominic. I uh, just wanted to walk you through the process you all will be using to copy over your Sandbox course to the Aries course shell that is sent to you from our SIS. So the first thing you'll notice is when you go into these Aries course shells, you're going to open that up and you're going to see that none of the content that we created in the Sandbox is present. This is literally just an empty shell for all curriculum. What it will have though is your student enrollment. So if you were to click on the people tab, you would find that all the students that are enrolled into your sections are there. So what we need to do is pull in our sandbox content. If you notice down below over here is a big blue button for adding existing content. Let's select that. When we select that, we're gonna go and choose an import content source. So in this case, we know the type of content we want to import is a copy of a Canvas course. Now we need to find the Canvas course. This will be the name of your sandbox that you created. So in my case, the sandbox I'm going to look at is called English. Big U. And you'll see the course actually pops up directly below. So once I find it, I'll select it. Now I have the actual course. You'll notice as we go down, in terms of content that I wanted to select, I'm just going to go ahead and choose all content. It's best to go with all content at this point so everything that you've created from the sandbox will be included. I do also have the option of adjusting end dates and due dates, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I will revisit that when I publish the assignments and actually go through and, and do the assigning. I'm going to go ahead and click on the import button. So at this point, depending on how big the course is that you've created, it may take a few moments for that to kind of import and move over to this new airy shell. Once we're done with the import process, we can then go back and examine the contents of this course. So if I click on Home, you'll see that now, rather than having those empty options, my sandbox course is now inside of this shell. Everything that I had previously is now here in terms of content. If I was to go to the modules, I would want to double check that indeed all of my course resources and units are present, um, such as the ones that I've included for you in the template. You'll notice that all of my pages right now are actually published. If you choose that you don't want to use all of these or you don't want your students to see these, all you have to do is go through here and click unpublish and that will turn these files off. If you really don't want them in your course shell, you can always delete these pages as well just by going to the delete button uh, or remove right here and that will get rid of those as well. And that's basically all it takes to import content from your sandbox. One other thing I'll leave you with here is that um, if you notice, if I go back to my course shells in my dashboard, there is what are called course cards. Right now, because I imported from the shell, it has the same template one, but I want to change that so it's customized to my specific course. So if I go back into the course and I select the settings tab, okay, you're going to notice that here is where I can change the image that's selected, that's chosen for my course tab. I'll just go ahead and click this and click on change image. It gives you the option just to search from Flickr um, and so I will just say that this is a, say this was for a biology course I could go ahead and choose any image I like and that becomes the course image in the course cards. right? And so now if I go back to my dashboard you'll notice that that image that was once was template is now customized to be whatever it is that I wanted up there. Hopefully that helps and uh, good luck in starting your semester with Canvas.